Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Clock Tower. In the previous episode, uh, well, in one huge recording, I went through the beginning of the game, went through the first scenario, and now we're at scenario two, where it was called Edward for some reason, but we're still playing as Helen, so maybe there's something suspicious about Edward in here. Cough, cough. Hello, are you dead? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he is now in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go on into there. That's weird for a library to have. Okay. Hey, it's Edward. Hello, Edward. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Okay. That all you have to say? Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Is Kay... Okay. That's all there is to say to him. So, let's go over this way. Is there anything to click here? Nothing. Okay. I'd imagine this library is probably not that big, so we'll be able to, like, go through everything pretty quick, I'd imagine. There probably won't be a lot to investigate. The reading room, it cannot be entered without a key, so we're going to have to find a reading room key, I'd imagine. Can we go past the stairs? No. There's an upstairs? I am sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Go inside, then. Mr. Sullivan's probably dead, to be honest, but... Oh, no, he's alive, he's alive. Okay. But maybe he does die. Maybe that's why it was closed in Jennifer's scenario. Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research? I will give you a key to the reading room, so you can use the reference materials as you please. Why, thank you. That was easy. The reading room is right next door. Yes, it is. Oh, and the statue? Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. And I imagine we're going to go ahead and enter the reading room. Okay. Nothing to investigate here. That's weird. Can't go through that door. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. We'll just be heading to the reading room now. Unless I need to investigate other things in the library. Can I go upstairs? No. Can't use the stairs yet. Okay. Reading room it is. Now I can enter the reading room. Yes. Yes, you can. Good job. The reading room. There's a, there are many valuable works here, only available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will explain the Scissor Man. Alright, well, let's take a look. We got plenty of books. It doesn't seem to be in this area. We can use this ladder then. A step ladder. Books relating to England are up there. Well, let's look at the books related to England. Lords of the Northern England. This is it. Hello. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. I found a clue about Scissorman. I still have to pick up the statue. 
I'm gonna look real quick. Can we investigate any more of the shells? Step ladder. Can I investigate anything else other than the step ladder? No. Very well. Alright, let's go pick up the statue for Mr. Stol Sullivan then. Now I'd imagine he's probably dead. Or he's about to. Strange, the clock is chiming. Oh, he's alive. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen! It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. Well, I will go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. And it's gonna be up those stairs, isn't it? The clock hasn't been working great. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Mr. Sullivan, oh. what in the world? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow! 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 What kind of crap is that? Can I investigate? What do we got? Picking up this lamp. I'm gonna smack you with it. Bye bye. I'm leaving. Ha ha ha. Helen? Edward's voice is heard from him. That's Edward's voice. He can't still be here. I'm going back in here. I don't even trust that. Nope. Nope. No. Statue in here. We can investigate now. There are many books about archaeo- Oh, some of them are written by Mr. Sullivan. Anything else? Desk. Statue on the desk? There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The center of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Oh. A key is inside the drawer. You now have the collection room key. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Okay. Everything is normal here. Oh, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. Just a trash can. So there's nothing else to look at. Okay, okie dokie. Back here then. Now I can enter the collection room. This is where I imagine the statue will probably be, actually. He'll want to put it in there. He probably put it in there when Helen left to go to the room. Uh, the reading room, just so he could show off his collection. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt, and other places of which. Bless me, I edited that out, but wow. Uh, of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it is pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Yeah, there's an aquarium right here. And that's a scissor man. Uh. Okay, nothing else to use in here. Do, 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 do. Maybe I could use the step ladder in the reading room. Maybe that's a thing. It's a possibility. Let's check. Anything that I can use in here? Step letter, yes. Come on, silly. Be smacked. Oh. 
and I'll actually have to check the reading room again because actually there might be a hint in there or something. We might be able to click on more things now that the lights have gone off. All right, let's go in here for reals this time. We gotta find that statue. All right, looky, looky. There's the statue. Mr. Sullivan probably kept it here. The statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness there it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is lead, find a way out. Okay. So that is very true. There are many of them looking at them would turn an art dealer green with envy. Anything else? There are many ancient swords. Strangely shaped pots and other valuable artifacts. No need to turn off that light. Okay. How were all those giant statues carried in here? That's a very good question there, Helen. To be honest. I always wondered how some of the art pieces they have in museums were actually were put in the museum. Like, some of them are so huge, I don't think that they're they could get it in through regular doors. I figured, like, uh, a personal, like, thought in my head was that they carried it, uh, ah, oh, crap, that they built the, uh, museum around the art pieces, which is rather humorous, in my opinion. Uh, it's full of foreign books, but you can read foreign books. Jennifer said that in the last scenario. Small, rickety old desk used by many researchers. So can you read the foreign books? No, okay. Well, let's investigate further. Oh, oh, back shelf here. There are many reference materials, but nothing important, okay. Okay, I guess we'll go out into, well, do we really wanna go back upstairs and check where, in the like clock tower area, I guess? Let's go ahead and go upstairs. We heard Edward's we heard Edward's voice up there. I'm saving first. Yep. All is good. Up the stairs. Cuz we heard Edward. Helen. That is Edward verse and it's coming from inside that room. We're probably going to die here, to be honest, but, you know. Edward! Edward! He doesn't appear to be here. That's a... <laughs> what kind of rope... I'm a jamming on the button. I'm a jamming on the button. I'm a jamming on the button. Bye bye Ha ha. And actually, I'm being interrupted here, so I'm going to pause. And yeah, yeah, right in the middle of the action. Anyway, one moment. 